I didn't want to make this video. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the end for Nerdrotic. This channel is under attack, and it's under attack from a Disney employee. Now, I know that's pretty normal around these parts, but this Disney employee just so happens to be the star of the most important film ever made. The record-breaking, record-smashing first film to feature Asians and an Asian superhero, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Now, I don't want you to confuse this star with Mangar Zhang, who played Zhe Ling. No, we're talking about her co-star, Simu Liu. This is probably the most important video I've ever made. Please watch it all the way through, and please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Nerdrotic.com. <clears throat> I met Simu. Nice guy. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a if I met you or not. Yeah. This is a podcast. We're going to talk about it topically. And if he wants to have a conversation with later on, you can't. Bro, that was the most bitch made thing I've ever seen in my life. Shang Chi has apparently broken some records over the three day Labor Day weekend, smashing films like Rob Zombie's Halloween. Now, I know the analogy has been made that this is equal to, say, Shang-Chi being LeBron James and he goes to a high school and plays one-on-one -on -one with a 16-year-old and kicks his ass, I'd say a better analogy would be Shang-Chi is a 15-year-old boys soccer team taking on the women's national team. That being said, this channel is actually under attack. It is not hyperbole at all. Yeah, it's not a actually that unusual at all disney employees come after this channel all the time but it, usually it's not the star of a marvel movie so i did a live stream today took a little nap because i'm an old man and when i woke up i saw the normal marvel stands in my twitter feed posting up an image of some of our thumbnails with the word flop on it and going ha ha and like that's normal Usually, the Marvel stands show up during the first episode of a Disney Plus series or the opening weekend, say, of Black Widow, and then they disappear, and I don't think it's going to be any different here. But when I clicked on the image, I saw who actually posted that, and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, did I do something right today? Is it Christmas? Simu Liu, the star of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, I'm sorry, the co-star to Mangar Zhang, has decided to call out YouTubers normal people well i don't know in my case semi-normal uh just an idiot with the microphone and an internet connection of all the things this guy is thinking about he's thinking about yours truly and some of my friends and no i'm not the only one who was mocked uh in this instagram post he went after my co-hosts on friday night tights as from heel versus babyface jeremy from geeks and gamers ryan baby boy ryan from rk outpost and our good friend, the critical drinker, who goes after the critical drinker, Jeremy from the quartering, the great clownfish TV and some others. But that's what you need to remember here. This is the big takeaway because no, I'm not actually under attack and I'm not bothered by this at all. And he's going after us because we're in his head and we're, and why? I mean, you got to ask the question why this guy is starring in a Marvel movie. A historic one, according to Disney Marvel. This guy's got the world at his feet right now. What's he worried about? Some YouTubers. Well, I can't get into his head, and I'll speculate on that a little bit later in the video. Maybe he's feeling bad for taking part in a bit of a false narrative. Yes, the film did crush previous Labor Day records, including defeating Rob Zombie's Halloween and Jeepers Creepers 2. But as my good friend Odin from OMB Reviews pointed out, his video will be linked in the description. If you match Shang-Chi up with other MCU openings, it's towards the bottom. And if you adjust for inflation, which is very difficult to do because you have to do it hourly these days, it's the third or second lowest MCU opening. Now, obviously, Simu didn't watch my video or he would know that I was covering a Deadline article that was speculating that if Shang-Chi flopped or underperformed, it could lead to an Eternals delay, which could still happen for a lot of reasons. We're still very early on in this experimental 45-day window. Speaking of that, before I start feeling too special, it looks like this is part of Simu's modus operandi. He's a bit thin-skinned, and he likes to use that to his advantage. Part of being a good adult pretender in Hollywood is being an opportunist. Shang-Chi star Simu Liu on Betrayal of Kim's Convenience Cancellation. 
The show ran for five seasons, by the way. The show ended after its producers left, but Lou felt it could have continued. It was always our belief that there were other creators of color who could fill the void. Always making it about race, this guy. Always trying to pull something out of thin air. And he went after Bob Chapik the CEO of Disney, when he simply said, hey, Shang-Chi is going to be an interesting case for us because this is an experiment, the first one in the 45-day window without the day and day release. And, of course, Simu tried to make it about racism. The main actor, Simu Liu. So I read this article, and it's kind of going over Twitter, it's going on Facebook, and he makes a very interesting statement, right? It says that we are not your experiments, we're a culture, we're all this other stuff. So in my mind, I'm like, well, what's happening with this release right now? Is the 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 Disney say some racist shit? And I'm like, okay, what the fuck, right? So I read it, I'm like, oh, this experiment. I'm like, well, what does that mean? He says this is this is gonna be an experimental thing for us. And he was talking about <clears throat> the 40 fa- 45 day what theatrical release before it goes to the digital, right? Yeah. And what in the f- does that have to do with him talking what's, about Asian what's wrong people? with that <laughs> well because and so i'm like okay <clears throat> i met simu nice guy what a bitch <laughs> i don't know if i met you or not yeah. this is a podcast we're going to talk about it topically and if he wants to have a conversation with later on you can't bro that was the most bitch made thing i've ever seen in my life and they go on to talk about all the damage this false virtue signaling does which is a lot and considering the country is pretty divided right now we don't need any more of it we already get plenty from disney as a corporation so i would say it's probably in line to get some from another disney adult pretender now this isn't about youtubers it's about you that's the bottom line here that's probably what bothers him the most because he knows it's real fans talking about this stuff who are judging shang chi as a superhero film not as some asian cultural moment because that's not what i saw in it i just saw a bad superhero film but some people might have seen a good superhero film and that's fine and it isn't about being right or wrong anyway it's just about being informative funny or effective that's what i'm trying to do on this channel I'm not going to be right all the time, and thank God, uh, it's it's freeing not to have to be right all the time. It sounds like Simu is a little prickly about that stuff. Here, Simu, you had a good weekend, dude. Take your victory lap. What are you messing with YouTubers for? But hey, thank you. I appreciate it. See, I am grateful that I was called out by the star of a Marvel movie. I can't wait to tell my kids. Unless you're a dumbass or you're just an angry angry like closeted asian anger person closet not isn't gay but closet as in you're you're fucking just you're just this <laughs> asian person up. that's just been bullied yeah. your whole life there's absolutely no way you would have taken that statement and misconstrued it as him attacking the asian community that's a reach at its fight that is right. the <laughs> fucking craziest reach i've ever read in my life and again this is the big problem with the identity politics marketing disney does this to be critic proof they use people to deflect criticism to gain more profit that is the very definition of exploitation and no they don't like it when we call it out hollywood would absolutely love for us to just shut up and be good little consumers but unfortunately for them at least for now that's not the world we live in again simu liu has a right to his opinion, he can take his victory laps, and he can mock me all he wants. I don't care. I think it's kind of funny, and I couldn't believe it when I saw it. And it's part of the gig. I throw out a lot of criticism. I need to be able to take it, and I do every day, and I'm still grateful for it. And I think that's the one thing that bothers the most fans is the ingratitude. Dude, you get to pretend for a living and get paid well for it, and you get your cheddar. Just act like you've been there before. But I do have a problem with adult pretenders going after the paying customer, and that has to stop. I do have a problem with Disney playing into all the divisiveness in this country and supporting camps that you concentrate in while pretending to virtue signal and, again, use communities for profit. And I will continue to call that out, and I hope you do too, because that's who they want to silence. It's not just me or Jeremy or the other Jeremy or Az or Ryan or Clownfish TV. It's you. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you heard, I thank you for listening this long. 
I will be talking about this on The Real BBC in just a couple of hours. If you're watching this in the future, that live stream will be linked in the description. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi, already has great publicity. People were excited for this film. Yeah. Why would you have to do that? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. NerdErotic.com, please subscribe.